Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you the current situation update from here in Goa. Guys, if you're new to the channel, I'm a local from Goa and I do videos here in Goa almost every single day showing you some of the most beautiful places to check out. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the COVID tests. Uh, if you are fully vaccinated, do kids require COVID tests? Uh, about the casinos, Dude Sagar waterfall, shacks, nightclubs. Uh, about all the important things like for example the prices of renting a bike or car during the month of November so guys let's get on to the video and first let me tell you about the COVID tests now if you are not fully vaccinated or you have taken one uh, dose of the vaccine you will require a COVID test to enter into Goa now let me explain now COVID test does not mean you need to get an RT-PCR you can get in an antigen test also that is fine you have to get a test within 72 hours of arriving into Goa so for example if you are coming to Goa on the 3rd of November all you have to do is get your test done on the 1st or the 2nd of November and you can come in with it that 72 hours okay so that is if you are coming in without getting vaccinated or fully vaccinated of course now if you are fully vaccinated fully vaccinated means you have taken both the doses of the covid uh, vaccine so all you have to do is you have to bring in the certificate with fully vaccinated only after 15 days of the second vaccination so suppose you were vaccinated on the 1st of november after the 15th of november you can come to goa without any covid test or anything so it's completely easy you just walk in with your certificate that's all that's required now many of my uh, subscribers and viewers have come into goa over the last couple of months and every one of them has told me that their children were never asked to give a covid test because children cannot get vaccinated of course so uh, children do not require a COVID test. Any children below the age of 18 were not required to give a COVID test according to the people that came in. Now, of course, if you are about 16, 17, I would still recommend to get an antigen test and come so that you don't have any issues. Of course, you can get a COVID test done at the border itself. Border in the sense if you're coming by road, if you're coming by flight, if you're coming by train, if you're coming by anyhow, if you have not been fully vaccinated, you will require a COVID test. So even if you are coming in by the train and you want to get a vaccine, uh, co sorry, a COVID test, you can do it at the train station as well. But I would still recommend to do it before coming because the line can be pretty long. Also, something to note is when you reach the border of Goa, if you are coming by road, the there is a long line where you have to come and check in with showing your covid test so this line can be pretty long it can take up to one hour maybe sometimes if there's a lot of tourists it can take up to two hours uh, the covid test on the border costs around 270 rupees for the covid test of course it can be up or down by maybe 10 20 rupees uh, so that is the covid rules guys now when once you come into goa now suppose you want to go into a casino now if you're going to a casino it is compulsory that you are fully vaccinated with two doses or you have to get a rt pcr before you enter into a casino now guys if you're coming from kerala also i forgot to mention this but if you're coming from the state of kerala if you're coming for more than three days then you will require to give uh, of course, if you are coming from the state of Kerala, even if you are fully vaccinated, RT-PCR is completely co uh, compulsory. Also, if you are coming for more than three days, you will have to do uh, five days mandatory quarantine according to the rules. Uh, if you want more details, you can comment down below or you can message me on Instagram. Okay, now about the casinos, as I mentioned, you have to show a COVID test or you have to give an RT-PCR uh, to enter into a casino. Without this, you will not be allowed into any casinos. Now, the nightclubs are all open. 
now night clubs the most famous area of course is tito's lane now tito's lane has many different clubs like uh, the pink elephant cape town cafe uh, there is a new club which is come in which is called the maya club there are many other clubs on the lane which is mambo's club also there are other clubs if you want to listen to english music and you want to enjoy english then you can go to clubs like soro there's another club which is very famous which is called the stock exchange now the stock exchange is very interesting because the prices keep on changing so sometimes you can get a shot for even 29 rupees or suddenly it might go to 100 rupees so accordingly which is an interesting thing to check out so that is the stock exchange the club uh, the next one is the sink night club which is also a very nice place to go there is also casa titos there are many other clubs that are available like lpk is open uh, all these major, major clubs are open guys as of now the night markets are not open the saturday night market is not open the friday night market should be open by the mid of uh, november to the end of november uh, the other things that are important to know is the r that the beach shacks are all open now beach shacks if you're going to any of the beach shacks remember if you're getting two beds it should be 100 rupees per hour for major beaches like baga kalangut this is the rates that are going on guys uh, something which is very important to know is that if you are eating at the shack some of these shacks will give you you know the beach beds for free so always make sure to go and ask the shack directly if the beach beds are free if you are eating at the shack that is also something important to know now uh boat cruises are open in goa all the boat cruises are open uh, if you want to rent a car or bike now for example if you want to rent a bike the bike rates for the month of november are around 350 to 400 now if you go to some areas which are less popular the prices can be up to even 300 rupees for a scooty a uh, car rental start off from 800 rupees for a small car uh, like a i10 if you are going for a higher car then it should be about 1200 for a car of course i have done bike videos if you want to get a sports bike or something i have done a video on that you can check it out on my channel also now the churches are now open now only church that is open is of course the old goa church this is open from 10 to 4 if you go any other time it's not available uh, the panjam church all these other churches you cannot enter into them okay so guys next we are going to talk about the dud sagar waterfall now dud sagar waterfall something which is important to know is i would definitely recommend to book the tour in advance the tour in advance means they will pick you up from your hotel or a pickup point like baga or kalangut and take you by bus to the dud sagar waterfall they will put you in the jeep and then they will take you but if you go directly with a taxi or you take your own car and go there it can be quite stressful because the lines can be up to 1 to 2 hours for just getting the jeep so i would definitely recommend you to get a tour if you are going to go to the dud sagar waterfall Uh, if you are going to do the dolphin trips everything they are all open at the moment also if you are going to do scuba diving island trips are all open at the moment about water sports now water sports every beach has a different price now i have shown you guys all the beaches and all the prices on my channel if you go to my channel if you want to go to any beach you type my name and the name of the beach and you will get the prices of water sports everything which is pretty good but i found that anjuna was pretty cheap uh, kalangut of course is the cheapest places like kandolem sinkerem were pretty high in rates of course you can go and check out the videos and see which one is more uh you know economical water sports is definitely a great thing to experience here in goa but when you are doing water sports i would recommend to take the five package five package means what they will take you for paragliding uh sorry parasailing and they will take you for bumper boat ride they will take you for a boat ride they will take you for the banana boat ride and the fifth one is the jet ski ride so they take you for five activities you pay around 1200 to 1500 some places are even for 1000 so accordingly you can check these out on my channel of course uh, water sports is something that you definitely have to check out 
also shacks the prices are a little more expensive and guys on the shacks you're not really going to get authentic goan food if you are you know you want to experience authentic goan food i would recommend you to go into the interiors of goa go to panjim city uh, go to local areas and try out the goan food there because that is where the locals eat because locals don't go to these shacks and don't eat there so these are like you know an interpretation of goan food but it's not the real deal so anyway guys these are some of the important things to know from here in goa if you're coming to goa definitely check out my channel and if you have any other questions comment down below and i'll be happy to answer your questions so anyway guys thank you for watching please do like and subscribe